My name is Makorobondo GMRC Kamongwa Salukombo. I was born in the Democratic Republic of Congo in the tiny little village of Kiroche. I was only six years old and I basically witnessed the whole genocide of Rwanda from across the border. I never ran in Congo. Uh, the only time we ran was actually running from bullets. But as a sport, I learned that thing here. That just started something for me. Everybody was just talking about me. Ah, that runner is good, is good, is good. So by the time I finished college, I already went to regionals. I went to national championship. Only one thing was left, the Olympics. But as I was finishing school, I wanted also to do something educational to help my village. Because most of these kids, they are born. They have spent all their life in wars. They don't have a long term goals. It's just very short. It's just like, will I be alive tomorrow? The first day I had um, for practice. So I told them we're starting practice on this day. Um, at three in the morning, over 300 kids showed up at my house. They're knocking at the door. Are we going to run yet? I look outside, it's pitch black. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? They're like, we came to run, we came to run. And I'm like, it's three in the morning. They're like, we know, we know, we're waiting right here. I finish, um, I was happy. Not only for myself, but for those kids in Kirochi. I told them we will make it, and we made it, and we finished. Right now, we want to win our first medal. The other change that um, the project has brought is through the education, especially for the girls. Most of the girls, by the time they get 15, 16, 17 years old, they already have kids, they're already married just because their parents cannot afford to keep them in school. One of the things I try to push with my girls on the team, and I encourage them to go in the community and talk to their friends, I think giving them the security of an education puts their feet down. With the project, actually this year, we were able to pay for 65 athletes. I have this kid, um, his name is Kono. So once I told him, you know what? We we'll take care of your tuition. He cried and he's like, okay, then I'll never sleep hungry and I'll be the best runner. And it's not just about the running. Um, it's a great way to teach, to teach the youth about discipline, about teamwork, about togetherness. And I think that's the problem with Congo. We have almost 450 different dialects. There's so many people from different places, and I think not having a common purpose, a common objective, uh, it just keep pulling people apart. The peace starts through the head, through people coming together. I wish I can just move what we've done in Kiroche to different uh, cities in the Congo, and I think that will cause harmony because we'll be in one.